YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with some more record predictions, game-by-game -game predictions for the 2020 NFL season. This one for the Dallas Cowboys. We got through the entire AFC East. Now we're on to the NFC East, and we will do every single NFL team. Don't worry. About two of these coming out a day. And at the end, we'll go to our playoff predictions. You're going to want to follow the Twitter, at Goat House NFL, link down below. After I finish the videos for a division, I tweet out a poll. You guys vote for who wins that division. We'll then circle back who will be the wild card team. So you guys, by voting, will kind of create a video on who will make the playoffs, and we'll continue on with that with a bunch of polls. So you're going to want to follow that Twitter. Link down below. Please subscri subscribe to the channel. We got, we're trying to get 50K. We're real close. Uh, so really appreciate the support. Subscribe to both of our channels. Link down below for that newer plus channel. And uh, you'll find a link below for the podcast. About nine episodes out, Spotify and Apple. And uh, on to the predictions using playoffpredictors.com. Very cool site. You can check it out. Make your predictions. Come back to the comments. Let me know what games you had them winning, losing, uh, and then the final record there. So at the end of these videos, I kind of go back and I kind of look at the games that were either way and check out best case scenario, maybe worst case scenario as well. But first, we'll go through my actual predictions. Uh, at Rams, this is a Sunday night game, as you can see here in week one, so it should be an interesting one. You know, you can't base things off the year before. People always try to do that. never works. But if you do remember towards the end of last season, the Cowboys really beat up on the Rams when you kind of least expected it. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, a lot of new faces on both teams. Yes, this is tough. I, I just think, you know, the Cowboys being a pretty similar team, the Rams still adjusting that offensive line, some new faces in there. Uh, could, it's a toss-up. Could go either way. But I'm going to go Cowboys. I think they're more prepared uh, for this one. Uh, Falcons at Cowboys. Yeah, the Falcons usually start the season a little, you know, on the struggle bus in Dallas. I will take the Cowboys in Seattle. Uh, this is where I'll have their first loss. Uh, it'll be tough uh, against uh, the Seahawks there. And ignore 18 and all these videos. It tries to predict the playoffs based on what I have, but we have yet to get through every team. Not even close to that. So ignore that. Uh, Browns at Cowboys. I think being home in this game uh, is a factor here. You know, that, that is, it's big time. This is one of those games that go either way, but being home, I like it. For the Cowboys, they're home against the Giants division rival game. Sometimes they split and they win away games. I'm going to take the Cowboys at home. Uh, home against the Cardinals. The Cardinals can be a sneaky good team here. And since this is Monday night in Dallas, you know, primetime home teams, they don't always win, but high percentage here, uh, I will take the Cowboys. So we're starting strong, 5-1. Um, you know, for me, you know, usually in the beginning of the video, I, in these videos, I kind of break down my evaluation on the team, but uh, I'm kind of getting into it. Yeah, I think a very complete team, you know, as long as Dak plays this year, uh, which I expect him to, you know, uh, um, you know, still a quarterback on the rise. You know, quarterback prime is usually right before age 30 or within, you know, 30, you know, through 34, you know, in that range. So a lot of upside there. You know, in free agency, I can't really say that they, that they got better at all in free agency. You know, they added some people, but they lost some people as well. Uh, but with the draft, I thought they had maybe the best draft out of anybody, so that's where they got better. Uh, and then they're going to go to Washington, you know, after a good start, 5-1. and one. I got the Redskins pulling one out here. Uh, the Redskins can be a sneaky team. Yeah, their offense a little bit a little bit lacking, so maybe that will hold them short, you know, in games like they'll come up short in games like this because of that. But that defense will win them some games. That's a scary pass rush. Uh, then they're in Philadelphia. I got the Eagles at home, so after a great start, you're kind of going back to you know, five and three, so not feeling so great now. Uh, home against the Steelers, one one that can go either way, so I like these ones that are pretty tight uh, that they're home. They need the bye week a little late in the bye week, so that's a little tough. Hopefully that the, you know, the team stays healthy. Uh, then they're at Minnesota. I took the Vikings at home, tough place to play there. Uh, and then they're home against the Redskins this one Thursday night. So the Cowboys definitely get this one. They split with the Redskins, have a chance to go 2-0 and against them. Definitely got them winning this game. Uh, then they're going to be at uh, the Ravens here. And I do have uh, the Ravens pulling that one off. So is this the Thanksgiving game? Yeah, the uh, the Redskins game is Thanksgiving, and then this is going to be Thursday night. So it's a little odd. There's two back-to-back -back Thursday games. Uh, but I do have the Ravens at home there. Against the Bengals, Bengals could be sneaky, especially down the stretch of the season when they're starting to figure things out. Joe Burrow. Uh, but I still got the Cowboys. Uh, this is a good one. Niners versus Cowboys. Uh, this is a Sunday night game. Another, yeah, another Sunday night game. You know, I like the home primetime teams, but we saw how good the Niners played primetime last year. Uh, they got that pass rush, maybe getting after Dak. I don't think dominant pass rush is what, what – it beats a lot of teams, a lot of quarterbacks. I don't know if that, that really – dominates, you know, the Cowboys. It's not really a fact. It's a factor, but I don't know if it's that big of a factor. Um, 
you know, maybe maybe the underdog here. I'm kind of feeling the Cowboys at home in this one, actually. I'm taking on the Niners. Uh, you know, maybe just just out. You know, obviously outscore them if I had them winning. But uh, you know, I don't I don't know if the Niners. It's not going to game where the Niners defense going to completely shut them down. So uh, I like the Cowboys there. Uh, and then against the Eagles, um, I actually had the Eagles winning both games against them. I, I just like the matchup for them. You know, another one. Yeah, I don't know if the Cowboys can. Yeah, it's not an offense. They, you know, it's kind of the similar reasons for the last game. You know, it's it's not an offense. They really can slow down enough, and the Eagles' defense seems to come up, you know, big against them. So, uh, and down the stretch, you know, it depends on health. You know, Eagles are a team you probably rather play later sometimes because they may not be the healthiest team. Looking at quarterback, offense line, receivers, secondary, uh, you know, that's where they're beat up. But then again, if they're healthy, it's playoff time. This is when they get hot. This is when Peterson's team really gets going. So. Uh, so I take the take the Eagles in that one, uh, and then I got them beating the Giants in Week 17. That'll be a tough one though in New York, and probably uh, maybe division title deciding and playoff deciding there. So uh, both really. So um, that'll be a tough one, and it'll be, it'll be uh, big time if they can win it. So 10-6, good record here for the Cowboys. Uh, they did lose some key players. Kind of going back, there's a, there's a, for every team, there's games that like could go either way. You can go back and say they can go either way. But the main one, really, the main one is week one against the Rams. Rams, prime time home. They could win that game. And that just like that, they go from yeah, – there's a huge difference. It sounds silly because it's one game, but there's a huge difference. Everyone knows between 10 and 6 and 9 and 7. You know, 10 and 6 with seven playoff teams, you, you might be in. You know, it's looking pretty good. 9 and 7 – getting it's it's tough you know it's tough and you may lose out in that division so I had them winning that uh don't forget so I'm trying to look at best case they could go 2-0 and against the Redskins you know there's games that can go either way Browns Cardinals um they could beat the Vikings this year I did have them beating the Steelers don't forget I did have them beating the Niners uh, but they can maybe don't get swept, and I did have them beating the Giants here. Don't maybe they don't? Yeah, I, I don't really see the 13 and three, but I guess it's certainly possible. I'm saying, yeah, they, they have a pretty small range. I'd say like nine to 12 wins is what I'm looking at for the Cowboys. Nine to 12 wins. I have them sitting at uh, 10 and six for my my prediction. We want to look at worst case scenario. I mean, they could fall there. Uh, I mean, between these three games, though, they could definitely lose one. I had them losing this game. Uh, they could lose to the Steelers there. Could go back to the Vikings, uh, Niners. It's tough to see them go six and ten, but you can see the, the toughness of the schedule. I don't really see them doing that, but that could be the bottom line scenario. So maybe, maybe we could say seven to twelve rain, wins win range if that's if we want to go to the bigger range. But yeah, I kind of tighten that up to we'll say eight eight to twelve. I had them winning, I had them winning ten games there. So ten games for the Cowboys, um, and. That's what I got for my prediction. So, kind of to go back, I had them winning that. We had them winning this one. Uh, pulling it off against the Steelers, and, which could be a tough game, obviously. Actually, I had them pulling it off against the Niners, too. So, back to 10-6. That was the prediction. 7-1 home, 3-5 and five away. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Please click that like button. Check out both of our channels. Please subscribe really close to 50K. Appreciate it. You're going to want to follow that Twitter. Link down below. Podcast. It's been a lot of fun. Something new for us. So, check that out as well. Just search the Goat House pretty much anywhere these days. You'll find us. We got you covered for full NFL coverage, off-season, in-season. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.